After You Level Escape is a first person game developed by K148 Game Studio with a narrative driven by puzzles that are truly unique. Before I get into it, if you haven't played the game and you don't want any of it spoiled for you, I recommend picking it up and giving it a go before watching this video. I can't really talk about this game without giving away some hints to the puzzles, so you've been warned. Aaron, the character you play as, wakes up to his house and hometown deserted and riddled with mysteries that tell a story of murder told in a unique fashion. Now this game isn't a triple A game, but it's still a very well built game with multiple areas to explore across three chapters and tons of puzzles to solve that will rattle your brain to the core. The first puzzle in the game had me stumped for a little while, until I realized the dog was giving me the code the entire time. I felt so stupid after realizing, but it definitely got me in the right headspace for what was to come. The way the game provides such subtle hints for the player allows for that amazing aha moment every time you figure something out. There are a few things that could be improved though, but I didn't experience any major bugs or glitches while playing. The controls for picking stuff up and reading could be changed to two different buttons so you don't have instances like this in the last chapter. This isn't a game for the player that just likes to run through since a lot of the clues to puzzles are in notes around each area. The second area in the game is a small dark deserted town and the goal here is to turn on the gas so you can fill up the car. At first when I played through this section I thought the developer was doing a little too much with the random apparition that shows up when you enter the church for the first time, but they did a really good job explaining it in the notes and in the ending of the game. The only problem I had with this area was after I found the first command. I knew I had to find a second one, but I just wandered around for about 20 minutes rereading every note until I realized the computer in the hardware shop had a code. I don't think there's a way for the developers to really fix this problem throughout the game without taking away from the challenge of discovering. I do think some of the puzzles are a little too clueless though, leaving areas of wondering what you're supposed to be doing rather than enjoying the game. The last area is a big city with only one building you can enter. Aaron's work building. Your goal here is to get access to your boss's computer to try and discover what is going on. You have to gain access to the elevator by collecting two print cards to make the key card for it. I was not expecting this game at all to tie all these areas and people that have been introduced together like they did. I mean, the entire game I was under the impression that Aaron was alone, but in all reality he was, ha, sorry, not gonna spoil the game that much. I enjoyed the experience and each puzzle really challenged me. The ending definitely caught me off guard, and the variety in the way you get each code throughout the game kept me entertained. Usually on games like this I get bored easy and lose interest, but I didn't here. Overall I think the game we got is what the developers were trying to achieve. Nothing was overdone, or more importantly, nothing was left broken or in complete disarray like you see in most indie games in this fashion. I will say this game is pretty impossible to enjoy on a second playthrough, since it's easy to accidentally remember the codes for each lock making all the puzzles pretty pointless. Outside of that, the story is unique, and has a very nice twist at the end that I personally was not expecting. If you're a trophy hunter and you're looking for another quick and easy platinum to add to your collection, this is perfect for that. At $8, it is a little expensive for only having three chapters lasting around 10 minutes each, if you know what you're doing. It is currently on sale though if you have PlayStation Plus for $5, so I would recommend picking it up for the short experience and the two extra platinums if you have a PS5. That's it for today guys, I know, a pretty short one, but hey, if you have a game in mind you'd like to hear us review, drop it in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more news, reviews, and whatever we choose. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one. They tell me that I'm never gonna make it, they want me to do something that can make sense, they hate when I keep